Hey guys, going to give you a quick tutorial how to replace your battery on a Moto 60 Gen 1. You're going to need a little flat plastic tool like this one here. I cut mine from a laminated piece of paper. Uh, it needs to be that has a little needs to have a little point and be super flat. Um, I've already replaced my battery, so I'm actually just opening it back up for again for you. That was my old battery that was super uh, fat, so I'm just showing you that. And uh, first things first, you got to take off the band. Uh, you probably have a tool for this, but if you lack a tool to take off your band, I found that a thumbtack works pretty well. Uh, you kind of just fold in the back and uh, you can kind of see where there's a little bit of an edge where it connects to the hole in the inside. Um, so you can kind of push the edge of your thumbtack pin against that. Uh, sorry about the angle of the camera. I'm not very good at this. And you just kind of put it in there, wedge it, and you can kind of feel it going down, and you just kind of push, and it just pops out. Uh, make sure to watch out for the pin flying off, as it just did there. And the other side, the same thing. Look in the back, and you can kind of see where there's a little edge. A little bit dark here, I apologize. And you can kind of just wedge in the thumbtack, and you'll feel some give, and you're pushing down, and you kind of just pull back the uh, bracelet part, and it kind of slides out and freeze itself from the enclosure. And then now we've got a uh, just a 360 body to work with. So for getting these open, there are actually four pins inside of this. And uh, most tutorials will tell you to heat up the back and pry off the entire back enclosure, but that's not necessary. Um, it's gonna be hard to show you in this light, but on the inside of the band on the glass side, uh, there is a flat little opening inside below the uh, pinhole. And it looks like there's like a little square plastic there. And that's where the pins are. They're actually the heads of the pins. And we can slide those out of there uh, using our plastic tool. It's a little bit tricky, but we should be able to do it. So what you want to do uh, is get your plastic tool and get a little bit of edge. And between the uh, back plastic piece and the uh, and the metal body, there's a little edge that you can slide the plastic piece in. And you don't want it to go flat like that, right? just because it'll just slide right through. But it should be able to go on the edge and kind of jam in and you'll feel it catch on a notch and it'll be right between about midway between the uh, clasp enclosure and the button and you kind of slide it along and then you'll see this little black plastic thing just slide right out uh, as you see as it did there <coughs> and it gets right out there and then yeah that's what the little pins look like there's four of those in total coming from each direction uh, so the next one you're going to want to do is uh, <coughs> you on the other side there's a little mic and so halfway between the mic and the enclosures on either side just trying to jam it in there uh, and you'll hopefully feel it they'll slide freely on either side but then it'll drop down right in the middle there's a little uh, notch and if you get it in there you'll feel it and then it'll be really tough to move but it slides and you just drag it just kind of strongly along and it'll force the thing out as you see right in the middle there and then you put it in and you just it's difficult and you feel like you're gonna break it, but you're just gonna slide it real carefully and end along there and it slightly, yeah, there it goes, pops right out. Uh, that one was broken because I accidentally snapped it when I was doing the first thing. You don't need to worry about that because you'll be careful. And now we can take the backing off. So we kind of just hold on either side and hold on the body and just slowly just kind of wriggle it and it breaks three. Don't kind of rip it apart because there's two uh, pin, two ribbon cables that need to be disattached before you can disattach the screen. Um, so you're going to want to unattach those. And you can try and use your plastic tool to pop them off, but it's a little bit flimsy, so it doesn't work very well. Um, so you're going to want to just <clears throat> probably use your hands because the tool doesn't work too well, I've found. So... So uh, once you get in there, you can just kind of pop it off and free it. You can see I'm trying to use the tool, but it just, it didn't work very well. So I just ended up using my hands and I gave up. So, oh, I give up in a couple of seconds here. Yeah, there we go. 
once again, I apologize for the uh, all over the place. I'm not very good at recording stuff, and this, I was just using my phone propped up on a box, so I'm impressed this even worked at all. So yeah, so you just pull out the pins, and next one off there. And I probably didn't pull this one off correctly. Uh, I mean, I didn't break it, but I wouldn't suggest pulling it off like that. It, I kind of pulled it up directly up, and it probably wasn't very good for it. But either way, the screen's off now. And now we just have the one more uh, section to separate. This part's a little bit difficult. So you want to take your little tool and find an edge where there's a gap along the side there. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. There's also another pin on the back here that you want to pop off. Don't forget that because you can need that so you can get off the middle piece. So and then you want to slide <coughs> your tool in between the gap because this is pretty in there. So you slide it in there and get yourself some leverage and pull. Uh, there's going to be some adhesive on the other side of this, so it's going to really be uh, a little bit sticky. So you pull it up and slowly, and you'll it'll snap back maybe, and so you'd see that adhesive there sticking when you're pulling it up. And so you're going to carefully pull it up. There aren't any pins really that you have to worry about here. The battery will be attached to the thing for yours. Mine isn't because I've already removed my old one and the adhesive didn't restick and I didn't bother. So um, just get yourself an edge that you got a firm grip and you know you're not going to break anything. Uh, some of the metals on there are pretty flimsy, so be careful. And you're going to pull up and if need be, just slice away that stickiness and pull up and it should just pop right out. And there, here you see the battery. and it comes right out, no problem. And there you go. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more stickiness. There, so you got another piece off. And you've just got the battery attached to that board there. And so there's only one more uh, pin that you need to pull out. So the battery will be stuck to the board probably for you, so be careful there. It comes off you know, with a little bit of uh, strength there. And this pin, it doesn't slide out, so just be, to be careful. It pulls uh, perpendicular to the board, so you want to pop it straight up. Uh, maybe use your plastic tool and just kind of flick it up and it should just pop out and you'll have your battery freed and put, have your new one in. And once you get that off, you can replace your battery and then just kind of follow these instructions in reverse because I don't want to put it back together on camera because it's a pain in the ass. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Get your new battery in there and reassemble it. Don't forget to do the little pins. Uh, make sure you have the right orientation when you're putting it in uh, the green. And then uh, one other thing to note, when you have, you're have putting back in the pins, it's actually the fat side that goes in first into the slots. Um, so, and it goes, so they go in, in that way. And yeah, that's everything. Thanks a lot.